we're still hanging out with the fabulous, okay. totally it. cool <laughs> Miss Kenya Moore. Oh. All right, Kenya, you have a beautiful daughter, beautiful. Brooklyn. Oh, thank like you. seriously stunning. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. What has motherhood taught you about yourself? I've always wanted to ask you that. Oh God, um, everything. That you are stronger than you know. Mm. Um, that you basically live your life, or you should live your life for your children. Um, Brooklyn comes like first in my life. She's just this little like beacon of hope she's and so light and she's just amazing. And to have her in my life, I just feel so blessed. Yeah. And I just realized, you know, I'm so blessed for having her and that time is just so short. Yeah. And motherhood is just amazing. She's growing so fast. I know. So fast. And I just never knew how hard it is to be a mom. Yeah. And I to know. be a career mom, I'm still a working learning. mom, and now I'm a single mom. Yes. And to have to cater to her, which I love, and just see her grow and see how she takes in the world or yeah. what she hears or what she sees or where she comes back, you know, from school with, and just seeing how bright she is and special. How's the co-parenting? How's that been? Um, it's been okay. And, you know, we're going through a divorce, yeah. so it's, you know, just trying to keep that positivity around her. I never yes. speak ill of her dad um, to her. Um, so that's that's difficult because, you know, when you get off the phone, sometimes you're, you are yeah. But no, never. I want her to have a positive relationship with him. That's her dad. And it's always going to be her dad. And I think that men instill self-esteem in their daughters. Yeah. Mm, yes, I do. absolutely. I really do think that. Okay, give me advice. What's your number one advice for me as a new mom? Oh, and congratulations. You're Thank you. You're carrying it so beautifully. Thank you so much. With so much I'm strength. I'm enjoying it. Yes, enjoy it. Yes. Number one, time goes by so quickly, so enjoy so all bad. of those little moments when, yeah. when you have to feed her, yes. um, take walks in the park together. Yeah. Definitely definitely record everything. I do, girl. Says, oh. Things she does, write it down, yeah. take a, you know, a Twitter account, make it be about everything, little Aww. thing, when she does start speaking, what yeah. she says, like archive everything because time goes by so fast. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that. Yes. Oh, definitely time goes fast. So and fast. not only being a mother, being this reality star, you are also a dancer. You <laughs> tore it hey. up on this hey. 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 with the star. Thank you. Uh, you did so well. Did you feel out of your element though? You know, it's it's really interesting. At first I did, for sure, because they were all pros, you know, yeah. and a lot of the contestants, the celebrities, they had pro experience. And I was just this girl from Detroit who took, you know, free classes at the community center. Yes, girl. So when I got the call to do the show, I was so elated and it came right on time because I was so down on myself mm -hmm. and going through a divorce, COVID, just trying to figure out how to be a single mom, how to take care of my business. And when I got the call, honestly, being on that stage, having the partner that I had, the support that I had, the love from the other contestants. Yes, it's it such was a lovely one of the best experiences yes. of my life. Yes. Oh. I was the happiest doing that show. And it just took me out of a dark place. And I feel oh. like it revived me. It, it did. Really and, did. And it made us see you in a different light. And I felt free. I felt like. This is who I am. I'm just going to take off all the, the layers and let people see who I am. And it was just liberating. It was just, it just felt so good being there. You seem very emotional. What's I going am, on? I am, you know, I just, don't do that. Don't make me cry. No, what, what is going on? It was just a great experience. You know, it just yeah. took me, you know, out of this really dark place and it just made me feel alive again, you know, like, valuable again, you know, where mm. people can see me because I wasn't seen in my marriage. And I had this wonderful partner who just made me feel great to just be there every day, you know? And it was amazing. Lonnie, you always make me cry. Stop I'm sorry. That. No, but that's something you really should give space and hold hold what you earn, what hold that moment that you felt because you deserve that. And with your life, I'm sure it's so busy that you don't get to just yeah. sit and, and, and cherish a moment that you really deserved. And you're always the strong one, Kenya. Yeah. And, I, and you know, I tell you this all the time. You are it's always okay. great to me. It's okay. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah. All right. You're from Detroit. We don't, yes. you know, yes. we always make it. But it's okay to be vulnerable. You're mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yes. Thank you. All right. Aww. I felt it on the show. It just, it revived me. It just, you know, Made me feel beautiful again, yeah. made me mm -hmm. feel valuable again. 
and um, I yeah. would not change it for anything in the world. You mm -hmm. know what else makes you feel about valuable? Making some bread, girl. <laughs> that's what you're doing right now with this Kenya Moore hair collection yes, that is in the yes. and soon to be at Walmart. Making that bread is going to make you feel valuable. Yes. Congratulations on this. Thank you. Talk to us about this. You know, it's funny because Kenya Moore Hair Care, literally we started, well, I, I say we, but it's me, myself, and I. I started this line on, this, on Real Housewives of Atlanta because I had this passion for hair care. Yeah. I was literally almost selling it out of the back of my car. And when people ask me, especially young entrepreneurs, how do I get started? What do I do? Invest in yourself. Yeah. I took my little coins, instead of buying Chanel and all these designers, I put it into my hair care yeah. products because I just wanted people to feel great about their hair. And that's what the brand is about, getting your hair healthy and strong and growing. And it's affordable luxury. So pamper yourself, yes. be proud of the hair that's growing out of your head. And that's, that's really the brand messaging. And it's a legacy for my daughter, you know? Yes. So she can look back and be proud that mom followed her dreams. Because if you're following your dreams, you'll, you're, you'll never feel bad about the work that you do. And save your edges. And save your edges, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya, I'm so happy for you with yes. your company, with your joy, and then yes. this new season. Everything's going so great for yes. you. I'm so, so happy yes. for you. Look at us now. We're in CVS. Absolutely. Now, 2,200 Sally stores and wow. growing. Absolutely. And more doors to come. Thank you. Good for you, Kenya. Thank you for stopping by and catching <laughs> up you. with us. We absolutely always love having you here. Yes. Now, be sure to check out the Real Housewives of Atlanta Sundays on Bravo. And Real Fam, you are in for a treat because our girl Kenya is hooking you up with a chance to get your own Kenya Moore hair product. Yes. So head on over to thereal.com for more info on the Kenya Moore hair collection. And remember, you can shop all these products at CVS and Sally Beauty stores.